does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for another episode of Skip the Rules, and today we're skipping the rules for the Very Hungry Caterpillar game. This is for two to four players, ages three plus. And the first thing you're going to want to do is take this entire deck of cards right here and shuffle them all up, and make sure you deal six cards to each player. So I have a two-player game set up. Next, you're going to flip over the top card right here, whatever it may be, and now you're ready to start the game. So to win the Very Hungry Caterpillar card game, you need to have seven cards that you're going to put in front of you. The first one will be a Caterpillar, and then a one, and then a two, a three, four, five, and then a Butterfly at the end. If you can get those seven cards placed in front of you, you win! So the youngest player will go first, and we'll pretend I'm the youngest player, and on your turn, you have one of two things you can do. You can either draw this card right here, off the top of the deck, or the face-up card right here off the top of the deck. So I already have one Caterpillar, so I don't need another Caterpillar, so I would draw this card right here. So now what you can do is you can play any number of cards that will work in front of you. So the first card you always have to lay is a Caterpillar. Luckily, I would have a Caterpillar. The next card would be the one Monday, and then the next card would be the two Tuesday, and if I had a three, I could play it out. But I don't have a three, which means my turn is going to end after I get rid of one of my cards. So I'll just get rid of this two right here, and I place it covering that caterpillar, and now it goes to the next player's turn, who once again decides if they want the mystery card or the face-up card right here. And they will continue to go back and forth until someone has gotten the seven cards in front of them they need to win, and they will be the winner of the Very Hungry Caterpillar card game. Also, if your draw deck ever runs out, you have nothing to draw, keep the top card from the discard pile, shuffle these ones up, and you're right back ready to roll. If this helped you out, please consider hitting that like button and letting me know in the comments where you're from and where I helped you out at. And as always, go have fun, and thanks for your time, YouTube!